what is up everyone and welcome back to another episode of Mark Talks Football and we're carrying on with the Reading FC save. We played one game since the last time you saw us. Uh, we played Fulham and we drew 1-1. But we're going into this Europa League quarter-finals second leg and hoping we can get something out of this. We are 5-4 up. Can we do something? The league performance has dropped. Um, we're currently 10th in the league so the only way we can get European football is by doing a madness here it was always going to happen especially our first time in Europe not really having the strength to sort of keep doing a massive rotation but we will see if the 4-2-3-1 can, with sustain, can do better than what it did in the first leg. All right, Ulysses comes back to Gabriel. Stallion in. Cunha, goal. 6-4. What we needed to get this game going. And that is exactly what we need to start off this tie. We could not be relying on, reliant on the first leg. Right, Rangers will want to come back, but that's a great interception there by Cunha. Out wide to him, Bugate cuts in, finds Samu. Nowhere really to go, so he's just going down the line. Argentinian Stallion comes back to Samu. Argentinian, Gabriel, Ulysses, Cunha, 2-0. 12 minutes gone. Nope. Was he offside? Oof. That was very close, but we're having a great start to this second leg. Gabriel, Hochman, Antonio Silva, Gomez. Gabriel, here we go. Hochman and Buga, Ulysses, finds a lovely ball to Alvarez. Cuts it back, Sam Hughes there, goal. 2-0. That is the start of the game that we needed, and it seems that all of our focus now is on European football. Alright, Mbugge, Hochman, Gabriel, Mbugge, Samu, out wide to Ulysses, back to Gabriel, into Mbugge, cuts it across, Samu's there, goal, 3-0. We are 3-0 up inside of 7, 18 minutes, 8-4. This is the performance we've needed from them for a long time. Taking it to them, we've come all the way here to Ibrox. We've had three shots, three on target, three goals. Great save by the keeper there. Right. Argentinian and Stallion. Come out, great save there by Kelly. Goes long. Knocks it down. Gabriel's there. Oakman, Stallion. Oakman, Gabriel. Back out wide to Embugay. Back to Hochman. And Bugay goes down to Alvarez, cuts in, cuts across. Great tackle, Alvarez again, and it's it. In. Don't worry about it. Perfect. This is what I like to see. This is the type of performance I've needed to see from Reading for a very long fucking time. But we are looking for a new right back. I'm not sure about the defensive midfield positions just yet. I'm still going to figure that out. The front four, bar Ulysses, okay, three, three of the four are going to stay the same. Alvarez will not be leaving. <sighs> Trafford, why why do you do this to me? This is why I need a new goalkeeper. Um, so, Cunha, obviously staying. Alvarez, obviously staying. Samu, obviously staying. Ulysses still needs to prove a lot to me to get... Oh, look, Gabriel! Comes back off the post and able to smash it in. 4-1. 5-9. In total. Samu. Gabriel and Stallion are probably going to be fine. It may need a little bit of a rejig of defensive positioning. Left back will be fine. Two centre backs. It is down this side. The right hand side. I know Mbugge does really, really well. With chances created. But defensively... 
I'm worried about that side. He's got two assists. See, performers like this make me want to say, let's keep him. Because he does well all the time. But it's just, there's just something. The goalkeeper position is the main aim. And that's what we're doing. We're trying to boost the, def the, the bench as well. So that if we have to rotate, we will. But at the same time, I just want to make sure that we can take these performances we're doing in European football and put them straight into league football. Harvey Nibs is going to come on for Ulysses. If Samu gets a goal, then he will come straight off for Among Us. Right, Alvarez. Back to Mola. Where's he going to go? Goes around. Oh, lovely pass to Cunha, but Davis is there. He hooks it off the line. That was very lucky there for us. Bournemouth are 2-0 up now. Against Feyenoord. I think, I think Bournemouth are the team we could play next. If we go through, Bournemouth have become slight of our bogey team with our, with with everything that's going on. Trafford does really well with his feet, and it's really irritating that he just can't collect a football. Right, Hadji, Danilo, great save by Trafford. Needed that type of save there in this type of situation. But so far, going so well. Shakhtar now beating Lille. Valencia are losing 2 0 to Genk. Hadji. <sighs> Clear it, please. Good. Okay. 10 minutes left. And Buga is going to come off for Bradley. Argentinian Stallion is going to come off for Sean Longstaff. And Julian Alvarez is going to come off for Okada. Right. Alvarez flicks it down to go. Cunha, Antonio Silva, Gabriel shoots, great save by Kelly. Getting quickly back into their positions, has to win this ball and does. Alvarez should have won that but doesn't, but here comes Cantwell. Danilo's in, goal, 4-2. It is now 6-9, 69 on the aggregate. Shit in hell. Praise them. We've got to make sure that they're happy. And now they're going more attacking, attacking now. Danilo going out to the right. Completely changed the front. The whole of the midfield and attack. Uh, all around there. Bradley. Where's he? What's he going to do? Down the line to Okada. Gives it back. Gives it to Okada. Who finds Sam Yu. Gabriel sweeps it up. And boots it long. But that is a terrible idea here. Because now they're going to go long. Up they go. Danilo wins it again. Shoots over the top. That, I think we need to change the positioning on the defensive midfielders because one of them's really high up and one of them isn't. If you just look there, when they go for the long ball, very open between the defence and the midfield. But we are through. We're through to the semi-final. Which next episode will be solely based on the semi-final. The league is sort of becoming out of our out of our reach at this point we are four points behind and we're also 12 points behind champions league but we do have a game in hand so it's very much going to be for us we're going to be playing Shakhtar Donetsk that will be our next game we are going away to Ukraine to Donbass Arena for the very first time Shakhtar won this competition the only time in their 92 history in 92 year history back in 2009. Newcastle United are the current holders. Okay. So. I'm very happy now. Right. So what does that mean for the fixtures? So we're going to be playing Tottenham now. And next episode... Will be Shakhtar Donetsk double header final. That will be what we will be doing next episode. But we've got Tottenham Hotspur who are currently second in the league. They got three players out injured, and we need to do pick up a point or something here. We are at home, so let's see what we can do. And I will see you guys there.
Right, here we go. We have got Tottenham. We're keeping the same team as what we had before, the same formation. We're going balanced, I think, today as well. The one thing I do want to change is I want to look at, but we've got that sorted. Just hope we can bring that performance we did against Rangers and show up today. Really do hope so. And Postacoglu is still the Tottenham manager. So he should be, to be fair. I think they're second in the league at this point. We've got to just got to keep our eyes on everything. Second in the league. Cross to the back, Antonio Silva. Ah! But they are now only two points behind Chelsea. If we can do something here today, not only will it help us, but Manchester City manager Jurgen Nagelsmann is under threat. We're not. We're mid-table. Um, we just need to, to, to get results. Oh, no. Alvarez does well. Basuma. <sighs> Tottenham is starting to take over this game now. Another corner kick here, clears it, heads it back in, but Trafford is there. Can we get on the counter? No. Okay. I've got to go positive because I want us to get a foothold in this game. We're not. We've only had one shot. Yeah, it's it's fair. We do need to get a foothold in this. They have started to take over, and it's becoming a bit worrying. Oh, no, not straight away. Not straight away. We've just started this, man. Thank God. Fucking hell. I want to try something. I don't want you really to go forward. I don't know whether that's going to help. I've got to try that. He's to try something to shore up this defence. And to get us a foothold in this game as well. I don't particularly know what else really to do. But they're still having shots. Another corner kick. And it's a goal. Fucking hell, man. This season's been really difficult for me. I feel like we're going to have to change things going into the, se in the next season, into the sixth season. But that is a great volley.
don't know what to do. I'm getting annoyed at myself. So, the only way for us now to make any dent into this season and to sort of do something is by the Europa League. Now, I hate, hate relying on winning a competition to go into another competition. I can't stand that. It annoys me because then it puts more pressure on me to get the right results, to do the right thing going into it. But Tottenham now level on points with Chelsea. Same amount of goal difference as well. Just... Not happy. Not a happy boy today at all. I, I, I just don't know what to do. I'm at a loss of how to really control this game and push us forward. But we will work it out. We will find a way. We will work it out. We will do something. But that has been it. What's wrong with the fans criticising what? Oh, they want us to change it. might be something I do very soon. I have to go through and think about how to do this. Right. That has been that. We have not done well, but we're going to be facing Shakhtar Donetsk in the next episode. So make sure you stick around for that. I'm going to experiment now and see if we can fix, uh, fix something going up against 8th and 6th. This is just going to be really difficult for us. 13th, 14th, 4th. Great. We, even, we haven't even got an easy end of the season as well. So, next episode, double episode of the semi-final of the Europa League. So, with that, with love and care, my name's been Mark. You guys have been amazing.